Hello everyone. Today we would introduce you to Anwar Residence, a house built for a family of 4 in the urban context of Edipally, Kerala. Segregating the public and private spaces, the house plays with different levels. The double height spaces ensure visual connectivity with the upper floor where the rooms are connected by a bridge floating over the courtyard. Principal architect Sebastian Jose walks us through this house explaining the transition of the indoors and the outdoors along with various landscape pockets that act as a buffer. To know more about the project story, click on the link mentioned in the description below. It will take you to our website buildify.com where you can become a member and download full PDF ebook including the detailed floor plans, section, elevation with dimensions and the material palette. You can download 200 plus PDF ebooks of the houses pan India. Our members also get to watch the full video with the architect walking through the house explaining the material palette in detail. Till then, I hope you enjoy this video. The site is located in one of the major roads which actually connects the city with its suburbs. Uh, this road is called Pukatwadi Road uh, and the fast developing commercial uh, artery of the city. Anwar is a businessman based in Cochin. He has two children. Uh, son is, a, is an architecture student and the daughter is studying medicine. So grown up children. Uh, his wife and his uh, mother so it's a four bedroom house with the usual requirements of a, a middle class family the site is located in his ancestral property where he had a house originally and part of this plot was converted into a commercial land the site is located uh, essentially 2 kilometers from edapalli junction and this is the road that leads from edapalli junction towards pukatwadi in the neighborhoods these are actually essentially two or three storied houses mostly uh, some commercial properties are developing gradually there are some apartments also coming up in this uh, neighborhood so this is the access to the commercial property and this is actually minus 3 meters below our present property so the main idea of the house is to limit that house to as far back as possible and leave a nice green space in front there is sufficient space in front for the highway to expand have a sufficient foreground in front of the house we scooped that land out and extended the commercial come go down space below the house and created the house where at its normal site level was so essentially this house is two blocks that's the living and the bedroom block and that's the kitchen block and then there's a double height space which is connecting the north and the south open spaces and then we have the dining room in the middle the family room the dining room and the drawing room here first floor we repeated the same bedrooms on the top and the above the family room we created a small home theater space essentially what we did is to leave that central space as a double height and then link the two spaces through a bridge which actually gives you the experience of the dining room as well as the courtyard so so that's the common area of the house there is a upper living room here beyond which was the uh, utility room and then a small utility terrace behind the stair is located at the at the end of this public space overlooking the double height drawing room another major decision that we took in this house was to take out the car porch so that it, the car porch doesn't obstruct the view of the house uh, close to the road space for two cars to park to create this as a grass jointed paving so that the green of this lawn as is merges into the the car drive area another space that we created at the first floor was the space above the car porch which is a uh, an open terrace garden 
and utilizing the level difference of the site we actually gave a flight of steps to reach to the space above create a nice uh, sitting area with some plants and overlooking the road in front what we also did is to uh, extend a, a wall as a gesture of connecting the site to its surroundings another element that we added uh, was to bring in that sloped wall angular wall connect the inter interior open space to the outside and there is a small um, lobby sort of area at the front at uh, connected to the step so what we also did is to create create a small canopy in front so that it becomes a covered uh, sitting area and then the rest of the space was made into a terrace garden so essentially the rest of the area is a nice open space with plants and greenery and at the front of the site is is a sort of pavilion it overlooks the road at the front and the garden time at the rooftop what we also did is to introduce built in planters at the top so the, those those were all plants and then we introduced large planter boxes where small trees could be planted so these are all fruit trees which were planted at the top we also created a nice creeper garden extending uh, this the sit out space to under the uh, plant the section of the house the plot was like that so his commercial property is here at a lower level it's 3 meters below so we essentially scooped this land out and built a commercial space at that scooped area and extended the commercial come go down space to below the house what we essentially did is to create those bedrooms on one side and create a nice the drawing room and the courtyard as double height spaces and created that terrace garden at the top the house is insulated by this terrace garden at the top it has the courtyard in between so this drawing room is a double height space and at the one end we kept the stairs and the stair extends as a bridge connecting the uh, the bedroom block and the stair goes up to the rooftop and opens up to the open space at the top the drawing room sits at a slightly lower level and the rest of the house is at a higher level so in the longitudinal section we scooped out this area and created base below and the site gently slopes down to the to the road that's the dining room which is a double height space we have another double height space which is the the sit out and a bridge connecting the two spaces the bridge is at one end of the dining room so that while one walks uh, across the bridge one gets a view of the dining room as well as the courtyard so courtyard is a slightly sunken area with lots of plants growing the courtyard has uh, pergolas above so that it admits only sufficient light there is another sit out behind the dining room which is a, a, a single height space above that we have the utility space we also provided solar panels at the top which additionally uh, reduce the carbon footprint of the house and this the wall which we have devised which is the slanting wall which slants into the and joins the house with the carports we also ensured that the house was sufficiently set back from the neighborhood ensured that there is enough greenery around the house looking back this was a good attempt at uh, how to integrate the house into its neighborhood how to fit the house into its uh, locality uh, by weaving the house sort of instead of presenting it as a single mass to split it up to break it into different levels and uh, interspersed with greenery and merge the house into its surroundings